So welcome everyone to our how to set up and use WhatsApp call on Respond.io webinar. Today here we have Nana. She's an expert on WhatsApp in general, and she's part of the team that built up the WhatsApp call function on Respond.io. So here you go, Nana. Maybe you share a bit about yourself. Thank you, Tyler. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Nana, one of the technical product managers here at Respond.io. And I'll be your speaker for today's session. OK. All right. Nana, you want to share the slides? All right. Coming up. All right. All right. Can you see my screen now? All right. Let me just add it to the screen. OK. OK. Looks good. Looks good. OK. Let's start with the agenda then. <laughs> All right, thank you so much again um, for joining us today. Uh, really excited to walk you through um, something that we've been working closely on with Meta, that is WhatsApp Business Calling API or WhatsApp Call. So if I've ever wished that you could just call your customers right from WhatsApp, now you finally can. So here's a quick look of um, what we will cover today. We will start with um, how WhatsApp calls work with Respond.io, and that includes um, what will be the requirement setup and how to set it up in Respond.io. And then we'll jump straight live, uh, into the live demo, where I'll be showing you how to make and receive a calls um, through our inbox, and followed by the uh, explanations of um, how WhatsApp call charges work, and finally, a short Q&A session. Yep, we will have a Q&A. So if you have any question at any point, please just put it in the chat. Don't wait. Uh, we'll collect all the questions. And at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. So we'll basically add it to the screen later to everyone so that everyone can see the question, get follow the conversation, the discussion about whatever questions has have. OK. So I think that's all. I think we can get started, Nana. All right. OK. I uh, just want to talk about the impact of WhatsApp calls in specifically. So it is a new feature for businesses on WhatsApp API across globally. So take the chance. Be the first among your competitors or anyone within your kind of industry to use WhatsApp business calling API before it goes global. It's only available in selected regions right now, especially the function of ability to call someone. Uh, and it's only available via certain BSPs, and one of them is Respond.io. So you better. So basically, in this session, you're going to learn all about how to get started fast, so that you can get ahead of your competitors and confirm more customers via call. Because sometimes you just need to call, and text is not enough. All right. Yeah. All right. Now let's start with um, how WhatsApp call works on Respond.io. So there are two key places um, where incoming calls will appear. First, um, first being is the inbox sidebar and the contact conversation itself. So first in the inbox sidebar, you will see a dedica uh, dedicated incoming calls tab here. So this is where all the real-time incoming WhatsApp calls are listed, giving users or agents an overview of who is calling in. And from here, you users can simply pick up any of the calls, either assigned or unassigned to them, and at the same time, if an agent is already is uh, within the contact conversation screen itself, they can uh, the call will also appear here, and they can also answer the call directly through the decline and accept CTAs here. So um, no matter where the agent is uh, in the inbox or in the contact conversation, they can answer the call right away. So something to take note here is that incoming calls can be answered by any agents for now. And group calls are not supported. Only one on one call is av available for now. Yeah. All right, now for let's. Sure group calls. But Nana, in the future, is Meta considering opening up to group calls in the future? Oh, that's something that is uh, yet to be determined. <laughs> Unfortunately, no group yeah. calls. Yeah. No. <laughs> right now, let's move on to what happened when you as a business want to initiate a call. So to initiate a WhatsApp call, the first step is to request permission from your contact. 
And okay, what is this call permissions or this request permission and how does it work, right? So Meta introduces this step to help keep the platform safe and spam free. So it's designed to make sure that um, people only get calls that they actually want. So your contacts are not suddenly getting um, random calls out of nowhere. So think of it like this. Um, we've all gotten those unexpected calls from unknown numbers selling us stuff or something, or worse, um, spam calls at odd hours. So that's exactly what this step or this permission requires um, helps prevent. All right, so before you can send a call request, you need to make sure that your WABA has at least $10 minimum balance. And secondly, is that there has to be an open conversation, meaning your contact message you in the last 24 hours. And you need to also make sure that you're only sending the, you're only sending one request at a time per contact. So again, it's a simple, um, um, simple, a layer, extra layer of privacy or respect that um, helps keep the experience uh, customer friendly. And once you send the request, um, your contact will see a simple opt-in prompt on their, uh, on their end, asking if they're okay to receive a call from you. Okay, now um, let's take a look at what happened next. Whether they approve or reject your request. So once your contact receive the call request, they have two options. So option one is if they approve, that's a good news um, because you're all set to call them right away or anytime within the next seven days. And here's the best part of this is um, you can make up to five calls per day during to the contact during the seven days. So if you miss them um, the first time or need to follow up, you don't have to worry because um, you've got plenty of chances during these seven days. Yeah, we know that mm. it can be annoying for every call you have to send a request message, which can be annoying. So thankfully, Meta allows five calls a day after it's been approved. Yeah. And the other option is, which is decline. So if they decline, that means that you as a business, um, you can't, you won't be able to call them immediately and you'll need to wait for another 24 hours to send another request and you can only try up to two times in seven days. So the tips here is that um, just make sure your customer is expecting your call before you hit the request. So that will help the things go smoothly. Right next up, I'll be showing you how to actually uh, place a call once permission is granted. So once your contact uh, approves the call's permission on the end, you can make the call immediately or again anytime within the next seven days. So to do that, just head over to the contact conversation and you will see a call icon available here. So tapping on this call icon will then show you the channels that you are making call from. So in this case, you're making call from a WhatsApp channel this particular WhatsApp channels and this will be the contact details or the contact options, which basically is the contact phone number that you can make calls to. So tapping on any of these options will then initiate a call immediately to the contact and you can start your conversation from there. And just a reminder, uh, once you have this permission request granted, you can you are limited to five outgoing calls every 24 hours per contact. Yep. But thankfully, uh, on that part, they show you when is your permission valid until so you can keep track. Yeah. All right, now we'll quickly go over what happens at the end of the call. So this is um, the call that initiated just now. So you can see that um, the real time duration is shown here and there's these um, contact details appeared here as well. So to end the call, it's very simple. It's either you or the contact can hang up at any time. And you can do so by simply tapping on this end CTA button. And what's it, once uh, once a call ends, there will be a contact event or call event recorded or appeared here that indicates and shows um, either you or the contact as, uh, ended the call. So uh, this contact event is also designed to help um, users or agents to keep track of the past uh, voice or call interactions all within the same conversation. Okay, now before you can start um, using WhatsApp calls, there are a few setup requirements to check off. So first being is your phone number must be connected to the WhatsApp business API and it has to be part of Meta business portfolio. 
On the other hand, on respond.io side, only owner and admins have the ability to enable this feature. So if you're an agent and you don't see it, just check out, uh, just check with your workspace admin. So once these are in place, you are ready to enable the WhatsApp calls on your workspace. Now to enable WhatsApp calls, uh, simply head over to the channel settings of your WhatsApp channel connected. And you should be able to locate the WhatsApp calls tab. So under this WhatsApp calls tab, um, you will see a toggle option label enable WhatsApp calls. So just turn it on and then you're all set. From there, you can start making and receiving calls as long as all the permissions conditions are met. All right, now that um, you've seen how it works and how to set it up, let's jump into a quick um, live demo. So in the demo, I'll be showing you how the end-to-end -end, um, experience looks like from requesting a call to getting it approved and making or receiving the call right from the inbox. And it will, I will also be uh, showing you a clear picture of what the experience looked like from, um, from both agents and the contact perspective. All right, let me just quickly show you my account in response. So this is me being the uh, admins of this workspace. So first off, um, to be able to make a WhatsApp call, what we need to do is we need to enable the settings in the channels. So to do this, head over to your channels and just simply locate your, um, your WhatsApp channel. So in this case, I'll be going to this channel and you should be able to locate this WhatsApp calls tab. So tapping on this will then show you this enable WhatsApp call options. What you need to do is just simply tap it on and you should be able to enable the WhatsApp call. So it will be looking something like this. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So once it's on, then you can start making calls uh, through your inbox. All right, now to make a calls, um, I'll be going through my agent account. So here as an agent, um, let me just quickly go to my test account. So this is the contact details and I'll be making or re um, requesting call permission to this particular contact. So at the same time, I'll, I'll also be showing you the um, experience from the contact perspective. Now, let me just quickly show you here. All right, so here, um, first thing first, before you can make a call, you need to send a request permission first, right? So to do this, this is the call icon that um, we mentioned earlier. Simply tap on this, then you should be able to see the WhatsApp channel that you're making calls from, and this will be the contact details. So what you need to do is just simply request the permission, and then you request is already sent, yeah. You should be able to see from the contact perspective, there you go. So this is how it will look like from the contact perspective when you send a call request. So after you send a call request, remember we have two options or as a contact, we have two options. We either allow or decline, or basically don't allow the permissions. Then in, the, in this case, I'll just simply allow. Then on the business perspective or agent perspective, you should be able to see that the contact has already accepted your request of um, WhatsApp call. So now you can finally start making calls. Head over to the call icon again, and then just simply tap on this option and that will initiate a call with this contact. So there you go. So here on the contact perspective, this is um, business calling, then I'll just simply accept it. And then call call started, all right? So this is the call card that indicates the call that. So if it's calling here, it will be shown as calling. And once it's being picked up, this will be showing the real-time call duration. And at the same time, this will be the context information. So here I'll be hanging up this call. So it's either um, contact or you can hang up the call. So for example, if as a contact, I hang up this call, right? Then I just simply hang up from my end. 
And then in response side, we should be able to see that contact has ended the WhatsApp call, the WhatsApp call. And then the duration is also shown here. So that's very straightforward, a very simple um, ways to make calls in response.io. Now that's for um, business perspective or agent perspective, right? Now let's, um, I'm going to show you how it works if it's um, contact calling the business. So for contact, it's very easy. So if you can see here, I have this call um, icon in my WhatsApp, right? What I need to do is I just need to tap on me and that will simply initiate a call with the business. And on respond.io side, you should be able to see the call appear here. There you go. And this is um, this is one of the in, uh, key uh, places that it will appear. Another side, it will be um, within the contact conversation itself. So if you look tap on this, you should be able to see the incoming call. So as an agent, you have the options to either accept or decline. So I'll just proceed to accept it. And the same process will begin. Yeah. Then if I end it up, then the call event will be recorded as well. So yeah, every call events will be recorded. Uh, either it's um, outgoing, incoming, accept or re um, reject request and so forth. So yeah, that's pretty much it for WhatsApp calls live demo. Yep, awesome. It's pretty simple, nothing too complicated. It seems like a lot of people have a lot of questions as well. <laughs> we'll answer them at the end of, in our yeah. Q&A. All right, now um, let's quickly talk about pricing, okay? So, uh, because WhatsApp calls are not completely free, so there are two types of charges you need to be aware of. First being is inbound calls charges. So inbound calls is when your customers call you. Good news is inbound calls are free for almost every country except the countries um, listed here um, oh. due to some local, uh, local restrictions. Can you see my screen, by the way? Yeah, uh, we can see. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, cool. Basically, these countries, they don't have WhatsApp calls available mm. in general. So that's why they are excluded. Yeah. And then uh, second type of charges will be outbound calls. So outbound calls is charged when your agent or businesses are initiates the call to a customer. So for outbound calls, businesses are charged per minute and the rate depends on the customer's country. So pricing is um, calculated per minute and the rate can vary quite a bit by region. So feel free to um, reach out to our customer, uh, our support team for the most accurate rates. They'll be happy to um, share the latest rates uh, for your region. And yeah. uh, to add on for outbound calls, right? Right now, uh, outbound calls or we call it business initiated calls. It's only supported in 24 country for now, which are listed here. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are all the countries. Yeah. Uh, don't yeah. worry, we'll be sending over the slides as well via email and the recording is also available after the webinar as well. For these are the exact countries that you as a business are able to make calls to your customers. Whereas the rest, they would have to have the customer call them instead. 